Good day, dear students. Let's begin our next lecture. Today's topic is translation of game names. Strange game names? Yes, we are right. Today, we are going to talk about translation of names of different games. Children's games, and the youth games, and others have to translate the names of games. As we know, gaming industry just uh, makes great business. Translation service market also includes topping of films, translation of artistic and scientific literature. It is impossible not to mention translation of spheres concerning to the games. Translation in the field of computer games are for translators not only interesting and exciting, but also quite difficult job. While translating computer games, especially they mention about localization. Localization of computer games is a translation of original game into another language and its adaptation to culture of another country. Especially translators face difficulties in the process of this work. Localization is a process of taking the context of an original message and transforming it into something comparable in a new language, which makes the text understandable for the target language reader. In the process of localization, phrases of the target language should not exceed the length of the English original. This is due to the technical side of the process. Subtitles should keep up with the spoken lines, therefore be laconic, but at the same time completely retain the original meaning. And the words should coincide with the uh, articulation of the hero if it concerns the games, computer games. Some translators believe that they should be left as they are. Others insist on translation. There is no consensus between them. The game logo and name can remain unchanged and in many ways of the questions of whether to translate or not depends on the degree of popularity of the game. If it's popular, you may remain the without translation. For example, Minecraft in Uzbek is Minecraft and in Russian is Minecraft. It is left without translation. Most often this applies to online multiplayer games that are played worldwide. For example, Perfect World, World of Warcraft, Terra, Warface and so on. They have already been localized and they are remain as they are. Many games, including online projects, are not translated due to their, their international character. For example, football. Football is not translated. Therefore, most fans remember the original name and not the localized version of the games, whether it is computer game, whether it is children game. Some games are just hard to find the suitable Russian and Uzbek equivalent. For example, the world famous Dota is unlikely to be able to get such an iconic equivalent. Dota is Dota in both languages. You see on the screen, it is famous with the name Dota. A lot of people, a lot of children name and memorize them their foreign, foreign name. But what are the names of games then being translated? What kind of games should be translated? If famous are left without translation, which one, which games are translatable? Most often this applies to children's games. On the screen, you see 
different types of children's games. Children play and ask their parents to purchase the game precisely because of the name. They want their parents to buy something very interesting. Therefore, the names of the games School of Volshemitz, Barbie, Pony, Princess Disney have been translated. So here, children watch cartoons or translation versions of the cartoons and they memorize their names in the target language. For example, my little pony. Mir Pony. It was translated into Russian as Mir Pony. Now let's look at the next, ex next example. On the screen you can see Princessy. The Chirovani Mir. Now let's look at the original version of this translation. How was the original text? sentence it was magical jewels here the translators tried to give the meaning in the Russian language magical jewels so besides games that are based on literary works Films, cartoons, known to everyone, are sold in Russian, Uzbek with translated title. For example, Harry Potter games based on animated films, Sezon Ahoty, Podvodnaya Bitva. There are rare cases when translation of the name takes root, even though it is not equivalent to the original. For example, The Neverhood was translated in two ways: Nebovarshina and Neverevhode. You see on the screen two versions of the same game translation. Nebovashina i Niver Vhoda. Summing up, the following conclusions can be drawn. The translation of the title depends on the contract with the localization company. And the original logo can either remain unchanged or be translated. When we speak about entertaining games in English and their equivalents, we can say the following about them. Now let's look at the list of the game names and their translation. You see? On the uh, left side you see the English version and on the right side you see their translation into English language. Some of them are borrowed, some of them have got equivalent and some of, some of them are translated and transcribed. For example, hockey, hockey, football, football. You see the words so simply transliterated. But Shashki Roads have got their equivalent in both languages. Puzzle Galavalonka, it has got a Russian equivalent. Pans Igraslov, we have got English equivalent. Tennis, it is transliteration. Volleyball, it is transcription. When we speak about Kristiki Noriki, X's and O's, notes and crosses, they have got their own equivalent in both languages. On the screen you can see the things we use in games, English version and Russian version. When we speak about um, just uh, Shashki, you can see English equivalent. And special Krushka, in English it's a stick, hockey stick. Igrali Kosti is Dio Dice. They have got English equivalent. Karol is a king. 
especially we use them in the card games and draughts. On the screen you see some uh, just items, sport items have got full equivalent or just uh, they have got the uh, transliteration version and transcription of the translation. When we speak about Kozer, it's a Trump. Kozer Naya Karta, Trump card. That was all for today. If you have got any questions, you are always welcome. Thank you very much for being with me.